Sample information is imported using a CSV spreadsheet format that is not friendly to complete. Copy the online Google Sheet that is better formatted and can be populated from validated data ranges uploaded from the LIMS earlier. It has three parts. 1. Client information. 2. Batch information. Either an existing or new batch. The samples will be created there. 3. Sample information. Client sample ID, sample date, sample type etc. Followed by the analysis profiles and tests requested per sample. It is good practice to save a copy of the sheet per client for reuse. Start with the client. If you populated the lookup sheet you'll be able to select them and prevent typos. On the second sheet, lookups, capture the lists required for the lookups, clients, contacts, sample types etc. On the sheet to be imported, the first, capture the client name and ID, contact on row 2. Capture the title, description and client batch ID for the, the batch the samples will be created in. In this example we are going to create 10 samples. Increase the sample counter in column A. Capture the client sample IDs. Capture the sample date and time. Capture the sampler, sample point, sample type and container. Repeat for all samples. On the green row, select the analysis profiles and individual tests to request for the samples. Capture 1 in the cells where sample IDs and their requested analyses intersect. Save the sheet as CSV. Go to the LIMS and navigate to the client's imports folder. Previous imports are listed here. To add an import, click plus bulk import file, select the CSV to import. Click import, the LIMS read the file and scans it for errors and displays what it found. If there were any errors in the file they will be listed with a row number at the bottom of the page. The user may then navigate to the imports edit page to fix them, or fix the file and import it again. When everything is in order, write the data to the database by clicking import on its state drop down. This action may take a while. The user is returned to the imports view page. The import is in imported state. He, she can navigate from here directly to the batch. The samples now enter standard lab workflow.